since you were eager enough to click on this link, I will share with you at least some kind of historical information. So, in the Middle Ages, in Europe, there were these people called hermits. The most well-known type of hermits were ones that lived in secluded places, like the deep woods, or islands, or mountains, or marshes, etc. Being a hermit and living a life of seclusion, piety and frugality was seen in medieval Christianity as a legitimate path towards salvation. Hermits were also often seen as wise, and many people would try to seek them out for guidance in religious matters. However, there was another very common type of hermit, which by the time of the 14th century became the most common type of hermit, and that is a quote, public works hermit. A public works hermit was a hermit that was appointed by either a city or a church or sometimes even a wealthy individual to patrol and maintain public infrastructure like bridges, roads, lighthouses, etc. By definition, all these things were outside of population centers and, therefore, hermits seemed like the perfect kind of people to maintain them, even if the job of maintaining them meant that they did come into contact with people sometimes, which kind of went against the whole idea of being a hermit, but there were profits to be made, so to many hermits it did not matter. To give you an example of how profits could be made, highway and bridge hermits could exact tolls. The initial point of these tolls and payments was to cover the cost of maintaining the bridge and roads, hence the job was still one of non-profit and frugality. However, over time, the hermits and or the people slash institutions that appointed them to these positions started to exact higher payments than was needed for the maintenance and so made a profit which could sometimes be fairly high if the area was quite well trafficked. This is probably why the practice of public works hermits became so popular in the late middle ages over being stuck on a mountain or something. So that's a quick medieval story about hermits and their occupations. Anyways, hi to late medieval guilds video coming at some point early next year, hopefully. Thank you to my patrons for supporting me, uh, I would be unable to exist without them the past few months. Thank you.